Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be an exciting one because today is my first ever favorites video. I'm not going to do a March or April's favorite. I'm just going to do a current favorites video because I don't think I try enough things in one month to have a monthly favorite. So I think I'll just upload these like here and there wherever I feel like my favorites have changed or I've been enjoying new things for that month and I'll just um, share those with you guys. I do have some skincare things and I have um, of course makeup things and if you've seen this look before it's because again I'm filming two, um, two videos in a day so I hope you guys don't mind that. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So my first favorite that I want to mention is not something I can actually show you because it's a because I've been using them <laughs> um, and it is my Lush things. I went to Lush not so long ago and I got a bunch of bath stuff and I have been using them not every day of course but like I've been using them um, and I love taking baths. It's so relaxing and soothing and everything from Lush just most amazing. So that would be my first current favorite thing. My second one is going to be this one here. This is the TLC Sukari Baby Facial. This is from Drunk Elephant and it comes with a little virgin marula oil. This is a really, really great mask. I struggle a little bit with texture as you can see right there um, on my cheeks. And I do love wearing a lot of highlights. So for me, it's a big deal if I have a lot of texture. Um, I just don't like it. And this stuff right here like just really ensures that the texture goes away. It is a 20 minute mask. Um, and it does tickle. I have sensitive skin and I, at the beginning when I first put it on, it's a little bit uncomfortable, but it doesn't burn, which is what's important. It just tickles. Um, and it goes away after like five minutes and then the rest of the 15 minutes that I have it on, I'm fine. Um, after 15 minutes, you remove it with warm water and then they recommend that you put the oil that comes with it over the top, which I normally do because I like to do this at night time. So I just go ahead and put the oil and slap it all over, even under my eyes, and I just go to sleep with it on. The oil is really good for like any kind of skin, um, a skin type. Um, it's really good for sensitive skin. It doesn't have a scent to it. It's just really nourishing and hydrating. And I think it will, um, it goes well with the mask because the mask um, leaves your skin feeling a little bit sensitive, at least for me. So this right here is definitely my favorite. Um, I haven't been using it every day. It says, um, not every day, sorry. I haven't been using it every week. It says you can use it every week. I just kind of use it whenever I feel like my skin needs, um, needs that boost. And I really love the results. It leaves my skin feeling really, really um, smooth and great and it really does help with the texture. My next favorite is going to be this SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. An essence is what you would do as your first step on any skincare routine. It is the lightest, kind of more watery thing, so it's going to penetrate your skin the deepest. This one right here is from a Korean brand called SK2, and it is so pricey. I have this little one that I got at work, and I have been cherishing it because I know that I cannot spend that amount of money on an essence, but I really do love it. Um, it leaves my skin feeling plumped and hydrated and nourished and I have it in dry skin, that's all I look for in essence. I really, really love it. Um, so I look forward to continue using this one because I've been really enjoying it. And if you have the budget for it, then go ahead and try it and use it because I know you're going to love it. It's just, it's expensive. <laughs> my next favorite is this one right here by Dr. Pericone. This is the Face Finishing Moisturizer, which is one of Pericon's, I think, most sold products. Um, this is awesome, awesome, awesome. If you have combination to dry skin, I believe, it sinks right into my skin. It looks great under makeup, and I love the hydration that it gives me. I did pull up a little bit of information on it, just because I can tell you what it does for me, but not what it claims to do. So this one says... It is for normal, oily combination and dry, so it's for all skin types. I didn't think it would be for oily skin, but I guess it is. So it says it is a solution for dryness, dullness, fine lines, and wrinkles. So awesome, it's also anti-aging. It says this lightweight superior moisturizer is loaded with powerful antioxidants or nourishing nutrients to help firm skin's appearance and minimize the look of fine lines and wrinkles. Paragon's face finishing moisturizer is rich in texture and hydrates the skin, impact 
imparting a visibly radiant and smooth appearance. I totally agree with that I feel radiant and smooth when I put it on. <laughs> it says the unique formulation contains alpha lipoic acid, vitamin C ester, and DMAE to help decrease the dryness associated with daily activities. Um, I've tried a lot of different moisturizers at Sephora and I was never in love with one. It was never, um, like, none of them were ever my favorite. They all worked and did good and were okay and, you know, whatever, but I never fell in love with one. With that said, I should mention my favorite eye cream. I'm gonna insert a picture of it right here because I did run, um, run out of it recently. The Fresh Rose Eye Cream. That is a favorite of mine and I have also been loving it recently, so much so that I finished it. So shout out to my favorite eye cream. It's amazing, super hydrating. Look it up on the Sephora website. It's really, really, really good. So moving on to some makeup products. I have to mention these two right here. This is the Bare Minerals Pro Powder Foundation and the um, core coverage brush that they sell you with it. I have been using this non-stop recently because I have been very lazy um, to do my makeup in the morning. I've been in a rush or I just haven't felt like doing uh, makeup a lot or I just didn't want to get up and dab my beauty blender, whatever, ex whatever the excuse is. I am reaching for this all the time. Um, I love the brush with it because it builds the coverage a lot. I sometimes in the morning have a lot of redness in my cheeks in the morning. I sometimes have a lot of redness period um, around my cheeks and this powder foundation covers it. Um, also, um, I think I mentioned this in another video, my foundation favorites video, which I will have linked down below. This is the only powder foundation that I have ever been able to wear. So um, that is amazing in my opinion. It's magic. I don't know what they did. Every powder foundation looks super powdery and cakey and dry on me, except for this one. So a big, big shout out to this one. I really am obsessed with it. If you're looking for a quick solution to do your makeup in the morning, something that takes you no time, go to Sephora and grab these two items because legit you just go all over and you're done. For the days where I am putting a little bit of foundation on, I'm still obsessing over this IT CC Plus. Um, I like it a lot because it gives it's a medium coverage foundation, it has SPF and it feels very hydrating on. Um, I put it on with my beauty blender and it's just easy and I have been reaching for it a lot so I thought I would mention it. Um, it has great reviews on the Sephora website so I know I'm not the only one who loves it. If you're looking for a tinted moisturizer or a BB or CC cream, this one has SPF of 50. So it's a really, really, really good one. And of course, guys, I'm going to leave a link to all the items that I'm talking about down below so you guys can check them out if you want and um, shop for them or go to Sephora and ask about them or whatever or the drugstore because I'm about to mention some drugstore products too. Um, but everything will be linked down below in case you guys um, are wondering. So the next one is another foundation. I did not realize that I had this many foundation-y kinds of products in my video, but I have been also loving this one. This one right here is like five bucks or six bucks at the drugstore, so it is a really, really good um, price. This is actually what I am wearing on my face today, and I love it. I literally, I take this like paddle thing out and just swipe it all over my face just one time I don't go in and, and like dunk it again or anything and then I go in with my beauty blender and blend it out and it gives me a really pretty matte finish medium coverage again that's it's what I'm wearing today I really really like it um, I have no complaints about it it looks great in pictures looks great in real life the color that I have is soft beige and it is a perfect match for me so obsessed 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 if you're looking for a cheap everyday foundation with great coverage, definitely go to the drugstore and check out that one. Going back to the bougie products, my next favorite is this brush right here. This is the number 98 brush by Sephora Collection. This is their new highlighting brush. Um, I have been using it for my highlights and I love it. Um, it has that perfect shape. It gives me like super precise application. It has like really good density to pick up just like the right amount of products. I like it more than any fan brush because fan brushes are great for highlighter, but I think they lack pressure. Um, like you could, do, if you like to do a very soft, luminous, but like very natural look, then definitely you say fan brush. But if you want to go for like 
wet metallic face right here. This is the brush you're looking for. The Tardis Pro Glow Palette is my next favorite. Um, and this palette has six um, shades inside it. But honestly, I haven't been using this at all. I've just been using the two um, contour shades right down there. This one right here is a cream contour shade and I love it. It's very creamy, it blends out very easily. And this one I just put over top of it to, um, to set it and um, this just worked for me. I think it looks really pretty and I think it works for a lot of different complexions, um, like to medium at least, um, I don't know, um, and also tan, I think it would work for them. Uh, but dark skin tones, I'm not sure that this would be the best one for. Um, the highlighters though I think are good for any skin tone and they are really really pretty highlighters I do have a video on this palette as well and I will also link it down below <laughs> um, so you can see here like these are very very pretty shiny and shimmery but um, again it's not my favorite for the highlighters because I have been using another highlighter palette lately um, it's my favorite because of the contour um, shades the contour of that bronzer is amazing so moving on to my highlighter palette that I have been obsessing over, it's this one right here. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero highlighter palette. This one is amazing. Um, Nicole Guerrero like uh, killed it with this one. This is actually what I have on my face today too. I'm wearing um, Kitty Cat and Forever Lit right on my cheekbones right here. It has great pigmentation, it's smooth, it's nice, and it's buttery, I just, it's amazing, go buy it, it's at Sephora. So my next favorite is this one right here, and this is from Urban Decay, is the Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. This is a great pore minimizing primer. I have tried the Makeup Forever one, I've tried the Professional, which is the most popular pore correcting primer ever. I've tried a few different pore minimizing primers, but for me, for my dry skin, it, they never work. It always just kind of clumps up and it gives like texture and pieces out. Um, and this one is the only one that I've tried that I truly, truly and can use um, and so I have been using it every time that I want to do like a more glamorous look or that I want to look more polished um, I have been using this primer just like right here on my cheeks which is where the place where I have my pores and like in the middle of my forehead and my chin and it really really works it is pink as you can see right there um, and when you smooth it over a little bit goes a very very long way and um, you can see like your pores just like disappear you guys, that is almost it. I have one more favorite or four more favorite of the same thing, I guess. And it is these right here. These are the Stila glitters. I have Smoldering Satin, Smoky Storm, Gold Goddess, and Kitten Karma. These are amazing. I It's what I'm wearing in the inner corner and like underneath my eye right here. Um, I'm actually wearing um, Golden Goddess today. But I have been using this legit since they came out, since the beginning of the year or the end. Like it was I think towards the end of last year, definitely after Christmas. This is the best glitter that you can ever put in your eye. If you've been looking for a nice glitter, definitely go, um, go and get you some of these. They are amazing. Okay. That is it. That is all of my favorites. Things that I have been currently loving and using a lot. Um, things that I've been obsessing over it lately, whatever you want to call it. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this videos and want to see more videos like this, go ahead and click on the thumbs up button. Also let me know what your current favorites are in the comments down below and any video ideas of things that you want me to put up next. Um, those would also be really appreciated. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and share my video if you like it. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!